This video is the ultimate guide on creating any portable Windows version for your USB stick. When I say any portable version, I mean from Windows 7 to Windows 11, including custom windows. Unfortunately, this won't work with Windows XP and Windows Vista, or at least I haven't found a way yet. To get started, you need to have a flash drive. Of course, you can use a USB 2.0 flash drive, but I recommend to use USB 3.0 flash drive. Obviously, it will work faster. How much storage do you need for this? Hmm. Everything will depend on how much space specific OS takes. For example, Tiny 11 can take up 12 gigabytes. Yep, and Windows 11, 27 gigabytes. See the difference? Therefore, you need to have a flash drive with at least 16 GB of storage and even better with 32 GB, much better. Today, I will show you two free ways to easily create a portable Windows. So, let's get started. So guys, let's get into it. We are in Atlas OS and I'm going to show you the first method how to create a bootable USB drive with portable operating system. Regarding to the first method, you need to have an ISO file, Windows 10 ISO file, Windows 11, Tiny 10 or Tiny 11. It all depends on you. This type of ISO file will work perfectly. And then we need to open our browser and type next. Download Rufus. Press enter. Then you may see downloads. Click on it. In my case, I will download the latest portable version. It all depends on you. That's mean it will run this portable application. Click on it and it will automatically download on your laptop or PC. As you can see, I successfully downloaded Rufus. So now we can open it and close the browser. Very important step next that you need to do is to insert your USB stick. And now we need to run the program. Click on it. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no. So regarding to the first method, you need to have an ISO file. As you can see, I downloaded Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft official website. So understood, you need to have an ISO file. Also, you need to insert your USB stick. Check if your USB stick in the right place. This is my USB drive. That's okay. Then you need to select ISO file. And for this, you need to click here on select and be sure to select disk or ISO image. Click here and select ISO file. Then you need to click open. In the image option, you need to click here and select Windows to go. It's very important because this feature will give us possibility to run Windows from our USB stick. So be sure to select Windows to go. Please pay attention. Here you have an option to select GPT or MBR. Simply to understand, GPT will be suitable if your BIOS run in UEFI and MBR if your BIOS run in legacy. But how to know do you have a legacy or a UEFI? Nice question. For this, I recommend to do next. Push Win key plus R. Then you need to type next. MSI info 32 and press enter. In this window, you need to find BIOS mode and as you can see, I have UEFI, which means I need to select in the Rufus GPT. But if you have a legacy, I recommend to select MBR. It all depends on you. After all this process, you need to click on start. And I also have an option to select the edition. I will select Windows 11 Pro and click OK. In this window, you can tweak some option. For the example, you can disable data collection because Microsoft collect too much data. Also, you can check this option. If you don't like to use Microsoft account, it will automatically create a local account. It all depends on you, which option do you want to enable? Then you need to click OK. I want to warn you, all information and all data will be deleted from your USB stick. So if you have some important files or data, definitely I recommend to save them. Click OK. 
Now you just need to wait until process finish and then you will have such a possibility to use Windows Portable from your USB drive. So guys, we successfully created a bootable USB stick with Windows 11 and that's mean we can install it in laptop or PC and use it as portable Windows 11. But what to do if you want to create a portable version of Atlas OS or Ravi OS? For example, you cannot find ISO file of Atlas OS because first of all, you need to modify your current version of Windows 10. Yep, yeah, that's mean you need to install Windows 10, then modify and you will get Atlas OS. The second way will be suitable if you have a customized Windows 8, 10 or 11 and you don't have an ISO file. But even though you still have an option to get a portable version of such a window. And first of all, one more time, we need to open browser and then we need to type next disk genius download. Press enter. In my videos, I already showed how to do this, but I want to mention that this is the ultimate way to migrate Windows, original Windows or custom Windows on your USB stick. So you need to click here, free download, this genius online, link will be in the video description, click here. From this website, we can download this genius. So we need to scroll down a little bit and here you may see download X, you need to click on it, download. As you can see, downloading process begins, so you need to wait a few minutes. Okay, folks, we successfully downloaded the Genius on my laptop. Now we can close this window. And now I will try to give answer on most common question. How much space do you need to have on your USB stick to migrate Windows? As you can see, Atlas OS used 17.6 GB of storage. That means we need to have a USB stick that at least has plus 17.6 GB of storage. I think 32 GB will be the best solution in this case. Now we can close this window one more time. I recommend to insert your USB stick. As you can see, my USB stick is already installed into the laptop. And now we need to open this Genius. Click on it. OK, accept all the terms. Next. Now we can uncheck this option and click finish. So fellas, we successfully installed this genius and now we have such an option to create a portable version of Atlas OS in my case. But if you have a Revy OS or other custom windows, it will work as well. Now we need to run this program. Click on it. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. In this window, you need to select OS migration, click on it. Then you need to select current version of Windows, which you want to migrate on your USB stick. Don't be confused, probably you will have only one option, but I have two options because I already created a bootable USB stick with Windows to go. So in this case, I will select my current version of Windows 10, I mean Atlas OS, click OK. Then I will select my USB stick, click OK one more time, OK. Literally, we will migrate this operating system on my USB stick. I want to remind you that all information will be deleted from your USB stick, so of course I recommend to save your file before doing this. Then you need to click Start, OK. My friends, take a close look. You need to select Hot Migration, click on it. Actually, you need to be patient and take your time because this process may take two hours, probably one and a half hour. It all depends on your USB stick, on your processor. You need to wait. And of course, I want to mention that you can use this method to migrate other version of Windows on your USB stick. If you have some custom Windows and you want to have a portable version, you're welcome. You can create such a bootable USB drive for free. And voila guys, as you can see, we successfully created a portable version of Atlas OS. Probably you will have a different operating system, but you get the point. So now we can close this window and safely remove our USB stick. Click here. Also, I will show you the last step what you need to do to run portable operating system from your USB pen. So guys, the last thing that you need to do is to install your USB stick into the laptop and enter the BIOS. 
or you can press F12 key and select your USB stick. Probably that's the easiest way. Gently install your USB stick. Then I will turn on the laptop and press F12 key. In my case, I just need to select UEFI USB partition 1 and press enter. My friends, actually, that's all. I hope this video was useful for you and now you will be able to run portable operating system from your USB stick. Is it Windows 10 or Windows 11? Or probably Atlas OS. It all depends on you. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you like Linux and you want to have a portable operating system, definitely I recommend to click here on this video.